up y'all it's Katie and today I'm going to be doing my huge sneaker collection video this has been long awaited for a lot of you guys if you are new here you probably wouldn't know but I love shoes <laughs> shoes are one of the things that I've just collected for a long time and I always feel the need to buy more since I have become addicted to shoes I've started collecting them as you can probably see behind me and now I think I own around like 40 pairs of sneakers which are my favorite shoes and today I thought I would sit down and show you guys because this video has been so highly requested if you guys are not subscribed to my vlog channel Katie McKenzie vlogs you probably wouldn't know but I reorganized all of my shoes they used to all be sitting in this closet on the floor and it would not let me have any access to using it so I redid this whole organization and I got these two like shelves and built them and everything on my vlog channel so go check that out if you want to but if you're new here subscribe and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post you can follow all my social medias and go shop the merch using the link down below you probably can't see that well but up here that is where we're gonna start and then we're gradually gonna make our way down this is actually the most recent pair of shoes that I got and my boyfriend Cole actually bought these for me for my birthday These are Adidas NMDs R1 I think they are all whites with pink neon green and neon orange accents I love this shoe. It is so comfortable. It's perfect for working out and it's also just beautiful They are just like the prettiest shoe ever. I've been wearing them non-stop That's what the inside looks like It has like this memory foam and it makes it so soft and cushy and also just the colorway of these shoes are beautiful I love white shoes that's got to be my favorite. This is my first pair of NMDs and I totally totally recommend that if you're into them. Next I have these Nikes and these oh, what are they called? Shoot I forget the name of them. I'll pop it on the screen. I can't remember off the top of my head. They're like these big bulky dad shoes. That's what, like a bunch of my friends call them. They are super bulky but I think they're so pretty. They're really comfy. They are big though. They are definitely big and they're heavier than normal. They also give you like an inch or two so if you don't want to be taller don't wear them but I love these. I feel like a simple outfit with a big bulky statement shoe is always super cute. Now we're gonna go into my Converse. I just have a pair of yellow Converse. I love high tops. They got to be like my favorite kind of Converse. I've worn these a bunch of times. They're so comfy. Also not that many people own yellow Converse and not many people own yellow high top Converse. So these are definitely a statement piece but yellow is my favorite color. And with that we'll go to these. These are my red high top Converse. I also love these. They just truly make every outfit a little bit better. I think matching any red top or accessories to red Converse looks so good. For me, I hate heels, so I wear Converse to homecoming, which you'll see in a second. But if you hate wearing heels, you can maybe do like a black dress and whatever your date is wearing, you can match red. So if he has a red bow tie, you can wear red Converse and that could be super cute. They're so iconic and so old timey, but they're perfect for every outfit. All right, here are the bougie ones. <laughs> and here are my third and final pair of high top Converse. These I actually made with my dad for my homecoming dress to match. I wore a beautiful beautiful navy blue dress to homecoming last year. I didn't want to wear heels because I didn't want to be taller than my boyfriend and I just hate heels like they're so uncomfortable and I love sneakers and I wanted to wear high top converse but I couldn't find any that naturally came sparkled. So my dad and I made these and they turned out so good. Here's what they look like close up but all we did was put Mod Podge all over the shoes and then put a ton of different layers of glitter on top. They aren't perfect I will say but they are so good. I've actually worn these like twice since homecoming. I'll probably wear these to more dances in the future because I love them so much and it's a memory and it's iconic. Literally no one else wore sparkly Converse to homecoming. I don't know why anyone else would but I'm extra. Welcome to my channel. And this is my last pair of Converse. These are just the regular low top ones but they are neon pink and I love wearing these with any like bold outfit or whenever we do neon games at my high school for football games these come in clutch because they are so bright. <laughs> They're definitely not an everyday sneaker but I like them a lot. I have to throw these in here. This was my first ever pair of white Air Force Ones. They're so iconic. Literally everybody in the room mother owns these shoes now. But I would also like to point out that I got mine a year and a half before they got popular. I literally got my forces in 2018. They started getting popular to the middle or end part of 2019. So I've had these for so long. They're so creased. It's terrible. And also these are half size too big on me. That's why I like don't wear these as often because I have so many other kinds that I would much rather wear. These are just a really good shoe. Definitely make sure you get the right size though and don't crease them as much as I did. And now I have this custom pair of Sunflower Forces, which came from Drip Creations. You're gonna notice I have a lot of shoes from Drip Creations off Instagram. They have sent me so many pairs and I freaking love it because I promote the heck out of them. I love their company and they are just the best. <laughs> they have these sunflower decals all over them on the sides of the shoes where you can see them. They're perfect though. I love them so much. I've worn these a bunch of times. You've probably seen them in my videos or on my Instagram. Then I have these pink bandana custom Air Force ones as well. I have to say this has to be one of my favorite pairs of shoes that 
I own just because I think they're so original and unique. It is literally a bandana tied onto a shoe. So this is also from Drip Creations. It is a bandana sewed onto the outside and then it's just a regular shoe and you can tie it to look however you want, tighter, looser, double knot, triple knot. They really snapped with this design. They have so many colors and I definitely recommend. This video is not sponsored by Drip Creations, but it really should be. <laughs> Every single time I've worn these to school, I get so many compliments and people are like, where'd you get those? Where'd you get those? And I'm like, Drip Creations. And the last pair of forces are these like reflective blue holographic ones. Obviously it has the blue check right here and the top, which just reflects. This is where it's at. Custom forces are the wave because if you can get them unique and no one else has them, it's really, really cool. So I definitely recommend if you're gonna get Air Forces, probably try and get like cooler ones because everyone has the basic ones. And that's why I love these. And now we're gonna get into my unhealthy Vans obsession. Vans were truly the first shoe that I like went crazy and bought so many different pairs. And I think it's because they're so cheap and they have so many different designs. It's perfect for people who wanna grow their shoe collection. First, I have these red checkerboard Vans with this custom rose embroidery on both sides. The red checkerboard Vans already look sick, but when you add the graphic detail, it just makes you look different. And then I have these all white Vans as well. Also old school with the same rose decal on uh, both sides. I've only worn these once. I really need to wear these. I kind of forget about the shoes that I have because they're like two rows in each one. So when you're seeing this, you can only see the front shoe, but there's another pair behind it. I definitely need to wear these more. I think the all white looks really cool and sleek. And then if you, again, if you have little pops of red, it could also pop. They're just so comfy and they work with so many outfits. Vans are the move. <laughs> Here is another pair of old school lace up Vans. I wear these a lot because of the really cool decal that's sewn onto here. This is just this blue like tidal wave and again it's on both of them. Next we're gonna go on to some slip-on pairs because I have a lot of those. I went through a phase. Pink slip-on Vans which I actually wear these a ton. They're so easy to just put on and run out the door. They also look really good. When I bought these my little brother loved them so much and he wanted them for Christmas and I ended up buying him a pair for Christmas. So now we match and it's super cool. I pretty much got my whole family on Vans. I bought my dad a pair. I bought my brother two pair. My other brother has a pair. It's just a thing. My mom's the only one missing out, but we should definitely get her on that. And of course, every basic girl has white slip-on Vans. I feel like this is just a necessity. They're truly one of the shoes I just gravitate to the most. And it is because they go with everything. They're so comfortable and they come on and off very, very easy. If I'm in a rush, I would definitely choose these over forces. I don't know why. I just like them more. I never really wanted to get white Vans until I bought them. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I like live my life without these? <laughs> Once I did, I nonstop wore these so I love white vans. If I had to recommend any pair of vans it'd probably be white slip-ons or black old school ones. Then I have this really cool custom pair that I ordered. They are just a yellow slip-on checkerboard van but the thing that's really cool about these is Vans doesn't sell these. I like bought them off a custom thing. They only sell a dark dark yellow checkered pattern. Literally I don't think anybody else in the world owns these unless someone's uh stole my idea <laughs> but I love them. They're actually really soft too. They're not a canvas material. It's like fluffy kind of. They're like my favorite shade of yellow, which is the light yellow and the checkerboard is so cute. I have so many yellow shirts and clothes that I love wearing these with them, especially because no one has them. I custom made these, so I definitely recommend if you ever want to put like your own colorway, look into the customization of any shoe, especially Vans. You can custom every single part of the shoe, which is really cool. And then I have all black slip-on Vans. I actually can't tell you the last time I wore these because they're a half ties too big. My feet slip and slide in them and then they crease and it feels weird. I never wear these. I'm actually thinking about maybe selling them or donating them. I did a TikTok where I drew Spongebob and Plankton on the back of them and it's just rubbing off now so I kind of regret that. I did a TikTok where I painted Plankton and Spongebob and it's not iconic anymore. It's just ugly. <laughs> then I have these navy blue checkerboard slip-ons. I wear the heck out of these. These actually used to be my brother's, but then they didn't fit him. He literally wore them one time and grew out of them. So he gave them to me and I love them. I literally wore them to school yesterday. They're so nice. And I love the fact that they're not black. I do have black checkerboard slip-ons. I'm such a hypocrite. But the navy goes with so many outfits as well. I love the color blue and I wear a lot of it. So these are like one of my go-tos as well. I just love slip-ons. They're probably my favorite kind of a 
vans and I do own three different kinds. And then I do have flaming old school vans. These are just like a classic. I feel like not that many people have them, but as soon as I saw a kid wearing them at my school, I wanted them and I bought them and I actually wore these today because the yellow right here matched the yellow in my shirt. And the last pair of vans, you've probably been waiting for this. I have these, I forget the style of these vans, but they're not old school and they're not slip on. But this is the only style I have of these. These are like a teal turquoise kind of color. I've only worn them like twice. They're cute. It's just, I don't have a lot of shirts to wear with them or that match perfectly. I do like this style though. I enjoy it. I see a lot more boys wearing this kind of style and a lot more skaters wear this kind of style. Don't know if there's any specific reason for that. Then I have kind of this random pair of shoes that doesn't really have a home. These are all white Adidas superstars. I think I was in seventh grade when black and white Adidas superstars were the trend. Everybody in my middle school had them. It was like before Christmas, three people had them. After Christmas, the whole grade had them. I have had them and I grew out of them a long time ago. They got rusty, dusty, crusty. And I say like a year ago, I found these all white Adidas superstars and I actually really like these shoes. They're super comfy and what I think is really cool and unique about them is the hard top shell toe. So some Adidas superstars do have the hard shell toe, some don't. And also the fact that they're just all white looks really cool. That's what the sides look like. They're just an all white plain shoe. I actually enjoy that sometimes. So I don't wear these too frequently, but when I do, I always remember like, ooh, I should probably wear them more. I should get better use out of these. They kind of just sit in the back of here. Before we jump into my croc obsession, because I have so many pairs, we're gonna do one kind of like beach shoe. So these are fake Birkenstocks. And if you don't know, I used to be a Birk hater. I still kind of am a Birk hater. And I think it's because I just truly think they look like Jesus sandals and they're ugly. And if you like Burks, no hate to you. You do you. I'm literally a hypocrite because I bought ones that look just like it, but are from Target. Somebody commented this on my beach vlog that I post on my vlog channel. I think the reason that I like these is because they look and feel like Crocs. They kind of look like Burks, but they don't feel like Burks, which I like a lot. And they're white, which is way more my vibe. But these are $15 Ferks, as I like to call them fake Burks. And yes, they are from Target. I went to the beach with my friend Bella this past weekend for the long weekend. We went to Seaside, Florida. You can go watch the vlog on my vlog channel. But I wore these shoes nonstop and I genuinely like them so much. They're gonna be my new beach shoes. I'm going back in April and I can't wait to bring these. New slip-on shoes, on-the-go shoes. They're perfect and they were so cheap. They're literally so good. Go get them at your local Target for $15. Now we can go into my unhealthy croc obsession. On the real though, I have loved crocs from the very start. I wore them when I was a little child all the way to now and they just started recently gaining popularity. When I got back into crocs, probably in like the eighth grade, I got my first pair again and so many people made fun of me for them. So many people, they're like, why are you wearing crocs? They're so ugly. And now the same people that made fun of me wear crocs to school every day. And I'm like, hmm. Interesting. I just sit back and observe. I have this pink pair. I actually wear these quite frequently. I do have a ton of different gibbets on them. People tend to ask me a lot where I get my gibbets, typically in a pack of like 100 off Amazon. It's like 10 or 15 bucks, and they come with a lot of cute characters that everyone knows. Or you can get them from the Croc store, of course. If you get them from the Croc store, they're like $3 each individual little character. I think that's ridiculous. And then I have these teal kind of like turquoise ones, and they say swag. LOL. <laughs> These gibbets are actually really cool. A girl makes them on Amazon and emailed me and wanted to send me a pair. They actually glow in the dark and they work really well. If you put them in direct sunlight for 10 minutes and then turn off all the lights, they glow really, really bright. So I'll link them if you want to go buy them down below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but they work super well. And it comes with a bunch of different letters so you can spell out whatever you want on them, but mine say swag. LOL. Then I have a magenta, kind of like neon, hot pink pair of Crocs. And these have the same gibbets letters on them as the other ones do. I love that they say my name and I got to spell it because nothing ever spells my name the correct way. These are my most recent Croc purchase and then they're Cheetah Crocs. <laughs> I love Cheetah Print. It is my recent obsession. Ever since I started liking it, I literally bought everything in Cheetah Print. I've only worn these once and I literally got hated on and clowned on by so many people at school. And when I went out, my family was like, what are you freaking wearing? I think they're so cute though. They're definitely a taste for only some people but they're adorable if you can put them with the right outfit I think it's so cute so you definitely have to find something that works with it and it is kind of hard I just I love cheetah print it's my thing right now please send me cheetah print stuff to my PO box and I promise you the last pair of Crocs is my most basic and the ones I've literally had for three years now. I have all white ones. They're so ugly right now because they're just not washed and not clean. Tons of different gibbets on here though. We got Peppa Pig, we have Yoda, 
cars, minions, Care Bears, all that kind of stuff. Now, I do have two more pairs of Crocs. My family has literally taken over my other two pairs. I have one navy blue pair of Crocs, which I'll put on the screen right here, which my brother has taken from me, and he won't give them back. So, rip. Thanks, Chase, for stealing my Crocs. And then I have a pair of yellow Crocs, which were my second ones I ever got, and my dad has taken over those. He wears them when he does yard work. They are two sizes too big on me. We ordered them in the wrong size, so it's totally fine that they have them. Now we're gonna go on to slides. I have a couple pairs. I have these Tommy Hilfiger slides, and I got these from Nordstrom I think they're so cute and I genuinely wear these slides all the time they're like my run and on the go shoes if I'm just going to get errands if I'm going to go to Publix really quick I wear these to the nail salon every time I get my toes done they're perfect these are just pink fuzzy slides and I love them so much I also wear these quite a lot these are from love culture which I'm not sure is like a shop everywhere I got it when I went to Florida over the summer they're super cute super soft and cozy and the last pair of slides that I have are these Jeffree Star slides Cole actually got me these as part of my Christmas present this last year but they're too small <laughs> I've worn them like twice it sucks because I really wish I could wear them but they're just too small on my feet rip in the chat I love Jeffrey though and I do have some heels and other kinds of shoes down at the bottom but I don't think that's interesting and I don't think you're gonna want to see those so I'm gonna wrap this video up before I talk any longer about shoes hopefully you enjoyed it so many people have asked me to film this video it's crazy and I thought I would share with you guys where I get my shoes and tell you guys how many I have because it's overwhelming I know I have a lot of Air Forces and Vans. Those are like a majority and Nikes are a majority of my shoe collection and I really am looking in to diversify my shoes. I know I have a lot, but I want to sell them. I want to give them away and get some new things. I always want to step up my outfits and I just love sneakers. It's one of those things that I like to collect. So I am definitely looking into some Jordans and some uh, designer shoes, which are like such an investment because they're so expensive, but I really want this pair of off-white high top ones. I really like mid Air Force ones. Those are super cute. And then like this. Dior. There's like this Dior one that looks like a Converse that I really like. I love you. Follow all my social media. Subscribe down below. Y'all, we are close to 500k. It is my goal to hit it very, very soon. Share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe. If we can get your mama, your parakeet, and your grandma, that's a lot of people. Go subscribe to the vlog channel. Again, you can watch me organize all these and see what my closet used to look like versus what it looks like now. And shop the merch using the link down below. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will hope to see you in my next video. Peace in the Middle East. Thank you.